You know, this journey can be many things at once. It doesn't have to be, you know, sometimes it has to be many different things at once. When you step across that line, you've got to put up with the drinker's brain being there. You know, those desires and those thoughts and those ideas of the old life. You know, when you're first getting sober, it can feel like you're, you're, you're blind. Can, what I imagine a blind person feels. Um, you know, you're, you're pushing forwards and you're trying to find some support along the way. You're trying to find a wall, you know, to, to hold up against. We no longer know where the boundaries are. You know, when, you've, when you're encapsulated in a habit, when you, it feels like you're, I mean, the more you use alcohol for different things, the more tighter that, um, that habit or the, your experiences and your thinking closes in around you. So you've got very well-defined boundaries, even if those boundaries are stultifying and they prevent you from doing things in your life. They're closing up potential rather than opening up. Um, we've no longer got this false crutch that you can hold on to, right? I call it a false crutch because it's not really a, um, it doesn't help you with anything. It uh, knocks you backwards. It makes the, the it adds in, insult to the injury, if you like, right? It makes the injury last a lot longer than it should do. And we're searching, we're exploring, we're puzzling through these new limits or trying to find these new limits for ourselves. You know, freedom comes with limitations. Freedom comes with boundaries. And you're either going to have, you know, we've, we've all got cultural boundaries that we can have on ourselves. Um, or I think the most important boundaries are the ones that you put on yourself. Um, and when you focus on something, it's like focusing on and saying, well, I'm going to, these are the lines I'm not going to cross. This is the boundary I'm not going to cross. And it makes it easier for you then to, um, to move forwards and to do the things that you really want to do so it gives you the freedom to move forwards when when there are no boundaries in your life uh, when you want freedom to do anything that you want to do and you, you, you know there are consequences to all of that and it's no freedom really you know the more freedom that you try and get in life the less freedom you actually get um, and the trouble is that once you get to that place where you've got no you no longer got that crutch and you don't know where the boundaries are some people just don't like that they don't like that for a bloody minute never mind uh, for the amount of time that it really does take you to to sort things out and to move forwards in life and to try and um, open up that potential but not only open up the potential but to to grasp hold of some of that potential right for what they do is they they walk around, we've talked about this before, the, the umbilical cord of you, you unplug from the alcohol habit, but you're going around with this plug then looking for some other place to plug it in for, another alcohol-shaped hole, if you like, um, into another, another drug, another escape, another distraction from life. And, you know, this journey can be many things at once doesn't have to be you know sometimes it has to be many different things at once when you step across that line you've got to put up with the drinker's brain being there you know those desires and those thoughts and those ideas of the old life they're still going to be there you have to put up with that you have to accept that that's part and parcel of your journey moving forwards right not forever you know you you get rid of those slowly but surely um but there's many things that are there for you once you do allow that in, you know. Um, the problem is with many of these things, they can be uncomfortable, they can be challenging, they can be confronting. Um, and these are things whenever you come up against discomfort when you're, you're a drinker, you, you come up against the challenge whenever you're confronted with things in your life. It's very easy to step backwards and uh, fall into the old alcohol habit. That's what you used to do. That was the default behavior. For any discomfort, for any uncomfortableness, for any confrontation, right? But these are, sometimes they're more doorways that you have to pass through as you're moving along in this journey, right? Sometimes the doorways that you must pass through. But the thing about discomfort, the thing about challenges, the thing about confrontations is you start to enjoy the discomfort. Ask anybody who uh, starts going to the gym and goes to the gym for some time and they will start to enjoy that discomfort of pushing 
weights or pushing themselves a bit further on the on the treadmill or whatever it is um, you start to enjoy the challenges in life you start to look forward to the next challenge you start to you know the challenge is the journey you get on the journey and the journey is full of are full of these challenges it's full of confrontations and you start to even enjoy those confrontations there's two reasons for this right the first one is because they're never as bad these the discomfort is never as bad the challenges are never as hard the um, those confrontations are never as bad as you feared they were right and number two there is usually something better once you step through that doorway and you're moving towards something different, there's usually something better on the other side of that. Upwards momentum, right? Moving towards the things that you really want in life, the things that are going to bring you long-term happiness, long-term pleasure, right? Take care. Onwards and upwards. 